Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Google Tag Manager integration. Okay. So first of all, what's the user case? Why you need Google Tag Google Tag Manager integration? Um, so if you want to track the web chat widget engagement, for example, you install our web chat, right? You want to know how many times the user open the widget and actually initiate the conversation. Okay, you want to send this data into Google Tag Manager and then from there you can send it to Google Analytics, you can send it to Facebook, you can send it to Google Ads if you want to track those as convergence. Okay, and also because we have the web chat channel, so any of the actions, for example, the user submitted the form, the user book appointment, uh, there is the e-commerce order happened in the web chat channel, you can send those as conversion events also to the Google Tag Manager. Okay, and from there, there is a central place you can send to the other platforms um, if you want. Okay, so basically this, can, this training will, this video will require you to have some basic understandings about how Google Tag Manager work and how you can implement these different kind of triggers and attacks to send it to different platforms, okay? So now let's talk about how to set it up. So basically, um, first of all, you need to go to UChat integrations and you need to go to Google Tag Manager integration, okay? Remember, here it's a stream ID. It's not, I repeat, it's not Google Tag Manager container ID, okay? So let me show you the difference. So if you log into Google Tag Manager, you will see this is your container ID, okay? But we are not using this one. As you can see, if you go to UChat, you go to integrations, scroll down, go to Google Tag Manager, you can see this is a measurement ID, okay? So this measurement ID only exists in Google Analytics 4, okay? You need to go to Google Analytics 4, go to data streams, you need to add your website as a new stream or new data source, and then it will have a measurement ID. For example, this is our Google Analytics 4. You can see this is our account. You need to go to data streams. If you do not see any uh, anything over here, you can add a stream, okay? Most like most likely you, uh, it's it will be a website. Okay, you just add a web, and when you log in, when you add this in, you click that. Click here, you should able to see your stream ID. So let me reload the page. Let me reload the page. Okay, click here. You can see. This is the value you need to put into UChat. Okay, copy this and go back to UChat and paste this value over here and save. Okay, it will show a verified. So that is the first step. Okay, connect with stream ID, not uh, not go uh, not GTM content ID. Okay, let me put this on highlight. And the second is if you connect. If you connect already, so what you need to do is you can preview the website, okay? Um, before this, you need to install the web chat widget on your website, okay? So uh, let's go to the Google Tag Manager, and this is a Google Tag Manager, and let me preview. Let me preview over here, and let's connect. So when, and you can see this is, there is a tag assistant connected. Okay, that means Google Tag Manager is connected with your website. And then if you click this button, this is the web chat widget. Okay, and ideally, ideally, if you go back to Google Tag Manager, you should able to see all these events are sending over. So if you click any of these events, and you can click data layer, 
you will see this is the events and also we are sending the session ID and the client ID over and you can see this is a um, bot chat closed, um, bot loaded, bot chat open and also you can receive um, you can re you know you already received the message okay the bot is automatically sending you the message so these are the events default events we are sending over so here the list this is the list of the widget engagement events we are sending over when it's loaded when the conversation started when the message is sent when the message is received and also uh, when that button is clicked for example when they first refresh the page they will have a start a chat button right when that clicked you can also receive an events and then when the chat is opened when the chat is closed you can also receive the uh, the events so for example if i um i don't know if this is okay this is not the close so i do not have the close button over here but if you have a, a button that to close the chat you will also receive the chat closed events okay so um now let's uh, let's show you let me show you how you can um create a trigger so for example in this web chat we want to create a trigger that is board chat open okay so as you can see this is the events name we are sending over it's a unique events name so we just copy this and then you can go back to Google Tag Manager. You can go to the triggers and then you can you can create a trigger. So we will create a trigger. Um, no, we will create a trigger over here. OK, so we will call this. Invent. Chatbot open trigger. And then we will select custom events and we will paste the events name over here okay it's going to be it needs to be uh, exactly match okay so we are triggering for all the events if you want to narrow down you can select over here and you can narrow this trigger down okay so we are triggering for all the custom events now we have the trigger now you can starting um, have a tag so basically we are sending these events to Google Analytics you can do the same to uh, send these events to Facebook and also to Google. Okay, so we will do a uh, events tag. Uh, events, it will be GA4. Chat when chat opened. Okay, and then you can go to over here and select Google Analytics for events. And you can select that uh, all page tags you already have, the settings you already have. And here you can name it. You can name it open web chat window. Okay. Uh, you can name it to be something that easy to understand for you. And you can then select the trigger. The trigger will be the event trigger we just created. So you just select this one and save. And now you can preview again. Okay, click this button and it will open the website again. Um, and then all the changes you make will take effective. Okay, so as you can see, um, the page is reloaded and uh, the tech assistant is connected again. So now if we click this button, now the chat is already opened. Okay. And now if I click this back, I will see this is bot chat open events that is already firing. And then if you click that, you can see this is the new tag we are firing to uh, Google Analytics. OK, uh, you can see this is events name. It's already firing to our Google Analytics. And if you want to see these events, um, you can go to Google Analytics. Here there is a debug view. And uh, if you click that, it will open um, this um, debug view. You can see this is the events that we are sending over. So basically this open web chat window, this is new events that is sending over. And, uh, and then that's how you can verify um, the whole setup is working already. Okay. 
So this is just one of the tracking that we talk about is we help you, you can track the web chat widget engagement, okay? And now I want to show you another example that you can track the web chat events um, to the Google Tag Manager. That means in the web chat channel, uh, for example, uh, if you, like I said, if you take the leads and uh, you take a appointment or you have a purchase that is happening in the web chat channel, you can actually send that events back to Google Tag Manager. Okay. So uh, if you go to Google, uh, our OMI channel, and let me show you a quick example. And I already built one of the flow that is test live chat. And in this one, basically what you can find is you can go to actions. And in these actions, you can go to advanced actions. And that is an action called web chat send G tag events. Okay. If you select this one, you can send the events name. Okay. Uh, so for example, this can be a purchase. And this can be a quantity, for example, uh, three product value, um, $299. Um, you know, this can be something you can customize. Okay. All this data will be sending over to Google Tag Manager. It will be, it will showing up in the data layer. You can pick up and send it to the other platforms. So let's just uh, connect this. Um, I will just simply delete this one. I, I, I will simply connect this starting points. Okay. To this purchase. So ideally, um, you should have, you know, the other chatbot automations to complete the purchase or to, you know, confirm the appointment or when the user submits the leads. Okay. So I will skip that part and I just want to show you how to send the conversion events from the flow builder. Okay. Remember, this is only possible currently in the web chat channel. So if I have these events, if I have sent these events, I will send another message. For example, it will be purchase, purchase event sent. Okay. So I will keep it simple and uh, I already have um, a keywords that is, that is triggering this flow. So I will simply go to the platform and I will type the keywords and it will trigger that flow. You can see the pur purchase events already sent that action already, um, you know, executed. So now if you go to Google Tag Manager, you can see that is a purchase events that is sending over. And if you go to the data layer, you will able to see uh, we are sending the quantities, we are sending the values as well. Okay, so if you need these uh, extra parameters, you can use data layer variable to pick these values and then you can send these to the other platforms. So um, to track to uh, to track these events to Google Analytics, it's the same process. Okay, you just uh, create an events trigger purchase and then you you connect this trigger with a tag. Okay. Those tag can be a GA4 tag. It can be a Facebook pixel conversion pixel tag. It can be a Google, Google ads uh, tag. Okay. So basically Google tag manager will be a central place that is receiving all these conversion events. And then you can starting uh, sending these events to different place to different platforms from Google tag manager. So that is um, what today's video and basically we covered what's the user case. You can track the web chat widget engagement and also you can track the events that is happening in the web chat channel. Okay. You can send it to Google Tag Manager and from there you can distribute across all the other platforms. And what's next? So uh, in order to take this to the next level, and uh, we are actually sending more information uh, back to the user. 
So if you go to um, you chat platforms, uh, for example, I can find the bot user. This is my bot user. You can see we have a system field that is called uh, client ID and session ID. So basically, this is a little a little technical. Okay, so basically this is a unique ID for the browser and uh, we are also saving that into the chatbot user um, uh, system fields. Okay, so that means um, we will have a Google Analytics 4 mini app coming soon and when that mini app is coming, so that means in the chatbot environment, uh, you have this kind of identifiers that can link to a Google uh, Analytics user. Okay, so anything happen in the chatbot, for example, Messenger, WhatsApp, or the other channels. Previously, you know, this is a this is not a web environment. You cannot you cannot connect the user to the web environment. But uh, if you have the client ID, if you have the session ID that is unique identifiers from Google Analytics 4. So it is possible that is anything that is happening in the chatbot, um, you can connect that conversion events back to a Google Analytics user. So that is something, you know, um, we are we are planning to do the trainings and the mini apps. And um, yeah, so that's what's next. Okay. And also, um, you can send the offline conversions uh, to Facebook and uh, to Google Ads. That is also something uh, extra trainings we are planning to do. So that's the video for today. And I hope you guys learned um, how to use our Google Tag Manager integrations. Okay. If you have any other questions, you can leave in the comments and we are welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Facebook group. Okay, talk soon.